Oh, so I'm gonna be packing for the trip. My clothes, because obviously I need to pack for my stuff. So yeah. What's your name, Adrian? Maybe we shouldn't do anything, just ride it. They say ride it like a cowboy. 
just ride it, ride that sucker right through. Even though at the time he was warning against doing that, does that drastically increase his death toll? So that's exactly how he's handling this virus now? Well, this is the thing. The University of Washington, mm -hmm. um, their model also has another number in there, too. It shows that if we just were not the mm -hmm. restrictions even more, we would be at 600,000 deaths mm -hmm. by December, mm -hmm. not 300,000 deaths. Mm -hmm. And that's really important for us to know because mm -hmm. the future here is not preordained. Mm -hmm. These models are based on our behaviors today. It means that if we do everything we can, like wearing masks, like limiting indoor gatherings, <laughs> like doing our part, mm -hmm. we can actually reduce the number of deaths versus if we relax these restrictions, we could see so much more preventable deaths and suffering. And so it really doesn't have to be this way. We see the projections of all those deaths, and these are each lives of our fellow community members, family members, and friends. Did you hear uh, Joe Biden, the former vice president, saying that he is willing to shut down the country again. Is that something we need to consider? It always is something that we need to consider. Uh, I'd like to just review why we are where we are right now. We're still seeing the echo of the 4th of July weekend. That's why the death rate is I have too much this is too late. And we're about to go into One the labor day. day. We will get another bite. First in case, so we will see the death oh. six weeks after that. And we're going into the winter season where people come mm. inside instead of being outside. And we're going into flu season. Uh, all of these things that will happen in schools that are being open now, we have two colleges already have Okay, me voy a agarrar un poco de traje de baño. And college students already, and the college has been open for a few days. If we are not careful, as Dr. Brown said, we could see numbers that are mm. stratospheric. And now that we can contemplate how we're going to deal with the next 175,000. Maybe we shouldn't go back with recriminations for what happened so far. But do we really want to have as many deaths again as we've already had? We need to think very clearly of what we need to do right now. Let's see, Dr. Wendell. Oh, we'll leave long on the way. Let's see, let's see the CDC director, Dr. Robert Redfield, saying middle America is getting stuck in this pandemic. And then he'll flip this map down. It's showing where the deaths are increasing. It shows that well, that's the case right there. Why is this happening? Well, basically, we are playing whack-a-mole all across the country because first we saw that across the south, across the west, the Sun Belt, that they were in a lot of trouble. Come on, pack us in the morning, me. That were getting so high that hospitals were on the brink of becoming overwhelmed, and so restrictions were applied. We avoided catastrophe in these areas, but now I'm other areas are experiencing surges, and that kind of pattern is going to continue unless we have a very clear national strategy. Unless everyone realizes that this is just the way that this virus behaves, it's highly contagious. And so when we have students coming back, as Dr. Brilliant said, when we have gatherings as well occur over Labor Day, we are going to have increases in the number of cases. And so I think it is time for us now to really ramp up our testing in a way that we have not today and to make sure that we have clear, consistent health messaging, where the messaging from our people doesn't directly contradict what the president is trying to say. Dr. Brooks, Dr. Wayne just mentioned Labor Day. You mentioned the 4th of July. The number is 2,000 cases across three states linked to the Bell Sturgis motorcycle rally earlier this month. How far do you think this will spread? And in that regard, there's some good news. You know, there are at least eight, maybe ten governors that have been together and have begun to decide to buy in poverty test kits to produce a national strategy for test kits. And I think that soon we'll add to that as the government prepares to that.
Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna find out in the video. My mom's gonna pack for me, and then I'm gonna go to bed. So, yeah, because I have to wake up at 6 in the morning. Mm. I'd wake up like at 5 or 4 so I can leave. I usually be like super early. This is the best. So, I'm gonna hang my eyes up like dripping up. She looks like straight into the camera. So basically, mm, basically, um, I'm in a bed. And, <laughs> and, I'm in a bed. And, um, I have to wake up at 5 in the morning so I can get. You can head to the place, then sleep a little bit in my uncle's house, and then go to the beach with them, and then go back home, and, yeah. and more families coming with us, so yeah. So yeah. Stay awesome. Then we're gonna stay awesome.